Episode Title Birth and Intelligence Life Begins in Fluid Across the galaxy, the most common environments are not continents, but oceans beneath ice, methane lakes, or ammonia clouds. Water. Methane. Ammonia. Each a solvent. Each a system. Where there is fluid, life tends to follow. And where life begins in fluid, birth is external. Eggs laid in silence. No womb. No bond. Only instinct and exposure. This is oviparity, the default solution to reproduction in fluidic worlds. Efficient. Scalable. Emotionless. And yet, it leads somewhere. On Earth, the ocean's most intelligent species, the octopus, lays thousands of eggs. No parenting. No teaching. Just one final act. The mother starts herself to death, guarding the young she will never meet. What hatches is alone. And still, it learns. It solves puzzles. It escapes tanks. It uses tools. It dreams. A mind shaped entirely by solitude. A predator with no tribe. No language passed down, only inherited instinct and observation. This is what intelligence can look like, when shaped by pressure, not connection. Viviparity, live birth, is different. It's rare, costly, dangerous. But it allows for memory. Trauma. Bond. Learning across generations. And from those bonds, morality can grow. But morality isn't required for intelligence. Only pressure. Only time. The cosmos may not be full of minds like ours. It may be full of minds like theirs. Born in silence. Efficient. Observant. And utterly alone. Not good. Not evil. Just awake. Share, like, and don't forget. Subscribe to show signs of intelligent life.